हाई ड्रोन दिस इज अर्शल तो आज की वीडियो में बात कर रहे होंगे हम टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटीज की टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटीज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ इंटरव्यूज ऑल्सो एंड फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग तो इफ यू सॉल्विंग एनी प्रॉब्लम ऑन लीड कोड या अगर तुम कोई कॉन्टेस्ट में कोई प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व कर रहे होते हो तो टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इज समिंग दट प्लेज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट मतलब किसी भी क्वेश्चन को करने के लिए कितना टाइम लगेगा बेसिकली स्टूडेंट थिंक की टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इज हाउ मच टाइम अ प्रोग्राम टेक्स टू एक्जीक्यूट But basically, it's more upon the number of statements that are executed. So it depends upon how many statements are executed in that particular stipulated time. That is basically how we define time complexities. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about the concept of time complexities. We'll take certain examples through which will make the things a little easier for you to understand. I hope you people like this video, and let's get started. Basically, when we discuss about time complexities, and we generally have units of measurements of time like milliseconds, like seconds, minutes, hours in our daily life. But why we are not calculating the time complexity of our programs in these particular segments? Like, why not the time complexity is measured in seconds, or why not the time complexity is measured in milliseconds, or hours, or minutes? But in other notations like big O of n or omega of n. So why this? notation and why these notations are important so we are going to discuss about that the number of instructions executed by a program depends upon the size of input generally we take n as the size of input and how these n elements are arranged basically this is how we define and big o notation is used to classify algorithms based upon their worst case time complexity criteria so in this video we are going to discuss about some examples through which you can understand these time complexities in a much easier way let's take a simple example for example you have a book and you give that book to one of your 100 friends right so giving that book to one of your 100 friends is a very very important statement so keep the statement in mind and we'll try to understand the all the complexities through this particular statement so the first complexity that we are going to discuss is o of one time complexity when o of one time complexity is simply you remember the person whom you have given the book you simply go to him ask your book back and it's done so this is basically o of one time complexity or o of constant time complexity let's try to understand a little more about o of one time complexity so talking about o of one time complexity let's take an example in which you have to output the first element of an array like you can be given various scenarios like an array 1 array 2 array 3 so first array is an array with six elements like the value of n here it's six the value of n in second case is 9 and the value of n in third case is 3 so in how many number of steps can you get to that first element of the array like for the first array like you simply go to this array and pick up the first element that is 1 so you can output 1 and the number of steps that you need to find this is 1 similarly for array 2 you go to the first element you check out the first element and you put it in the output output is 8 the number of steps that you take to get to this answer is 1 for array 3 similarly you go to the first element you pick up the first element and you put it in the output the number of steps that you have in this case is also 1 so irrespective of the value of this n that is the number of elements only one step is required for you to get to the answer so this comes out to our conclusion of o of one time complexity so similar was the case if you already know the person who has the book you just go to him and take the book from him you are just taking a single step to get that book back so in this way o of one time complexity works now let's discuss about o of n square time complexity when i talk about o of n square time complexity you go on with one of your friends you ask him whether he has the book or not and you also ask him whether the rest 99 of your friends have the book or not so doing this you are asking your, one of your friends and that one friend is internally asking 99 of your other friends so two loops are running simultaneously with n elements each so two times n it comes out to be n square time complexity let's deep dive into n square time complexity now let's talk about o of n square time complexity now you are given a question in which you have to increase by one each and every element of a maze of size 3 cross 3 so when you go to each and every element like going to one element is considered as one step so moving over each and every element of this maze will be considering two loops for loop 1 that traverses over each and every row for loop second that traverses over each and every column and we go and increase the value present at that particular part that or that particular element of this matrix so what would be the time complexity so the number of elements that we have let's say if we have 3 then the number of uh, 
steps that we are taking is nine similarly let's say you have a matrix of four cross four so you have to take 16 steps so for a corresponding value of n the corresponding number you are getting is n square so the time complexity in this case goes out to o of n square right similarly like in the case of the books so for example you go to one single person you ask him whether he has your book or not and you also ask him whether any of the rest 99 friends have the book or not so in this case he is asked you are asking that person also and you are asking 90 him that whether he knows whether any of his friends knows about the same so two loops are running simultaneously so that means the complexity is o of n square time complexity there is a small message for you all from ReLevel. As you people already know, ReLevel is a platform by an academy through which you can get a job in business development, backend development, frontend development through their very own tests in which you need to score above 700 and you can get a direct interview call by different companies, different startups that are hiring through ReLevel's platform like Cred, 1MG, Misho, Urban Company and Upgrad. Currently, there are openings by Cred in backend development. So they are offering a CTC from 14 lakhs to 38 lakhs per annum. And uh, as you people are already aware that uh, this doesn't require you to have a very great resume. This doesn't require you to have a very great college degree. It just requires your skills that will take you forward. Uh, people are already taking up and they have even got a job at cred with a score of 874 with a package worth rupees 42 lakhs per annum. So definitely this is a must try opportunity I would say and let's move on to the video. Talking about O of n time complexity, you go and ask each of your friends whether they have the book or not. So going at each and every friend like traversing these n elements once will give you a time complexity of O of n. So understanding more about O of n time complexity here. So for O of n time complexity, let's take an example. You're given an element and an array and you need to find whether that element exists in the array or not. Let's take an example. For example, you have an array A in which the elements go like this. And you need to find out. Let's say they have the elements 8, 6, 1, 9, 4, 3. And the element that you have been given is 3. So you need to check whether 3 exists in this array or not. You simply go to each and every element of this array. The value of n in this case is 6. And firstly, you go and check at 8, whether 8 is equal to 3. No, we move to the next element. We check whether 6 is equal to 3. No. Similarly, we go on checking with all the elements until we reach the last element where 3 is equal to 3. Yes, we say that 3 is present in this particular array. And the number of steps that we take to find out this is also 6, right? So here the number of elements and the number of steps are coming out to be equal. So we say that it is O of n time complexity but you might argue that let's suppose i have a case where i have another array in which you have three at the very beginning so here is three four six eight one nine in this case also the value of n comes out to be six and element that you have to check is three you simply go to the first element and check whether this element is equal to 3 yes you get a match and you can say that 3 is present in the array you don't have to do anything but in this case we are just taking one single step so is it that its sign complexity is o of 1 certainly not its sign complexity is not o of 1 it's the case that it depends upon so generally what we do is we take the time complexity of the worst case this is the worst case in which we are getting this element at the last it's the best case because we went on to the first element and we got the answer in the first element. The time complexity in this is the best time best time complexity for this particular problem. But generally we deal with the worst case time complexity. There is a very important concept of O of log n. So log n time complexity is basically you divide your 100 friends into two rooms, 50 in one, 50 in another, and you check whether the book lies in any of the two rooms. For example, the person with the book lies in room one. 
so out of those 50 you divide them again into two rooms with 25 25 each and you go on doing this and this and it is being reduced by a factor of two each times so this comes out to give you a complexity of log of n so let's deep dive into what log of n time complexity means so talking about log of n time complexity in log of n time complexity let's say you are given an example in which you are given an array and you are given an element let's say 5 and you have to check whether this element 5 is present in this particular array or not so in this case we are using a very important concept that is known as binary search so for binary search what we are going to do is let's say we have 8 elements in the beginning from 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 and 15 in the next step what we do is we find out the middle of this element and check and compare it with the element 5 whether 5 is less than this middle or it is greater than this middle depending upon that we divide this array into two halves in which that element is there there's a possibility or in the second part in which there is no possibility of this element so now we have four elements left so out of these four elements again we'll compare we'll divide this into two different parts in which there is a possibility of five and in which there is no possibility of five we'll take the part in which there is a possibility of five right now the number of steps reduced from eight to four then from four to two and similarly from uh, two to one and in this way this goes on till the number of steps the number of elements become one so what happens in this case is how this is being interpreted is like so it was n over 2 raised to power n let's say we make it equal to 1 so n is equal to 2 raised to power n into 1 taking log both sides we get that log of n is equal to log of 2 raised to power n taking properties of log what we get is log to the base 2 of n is equal to n log to the base 2 of so this value is equal to 1 so we get that n is equal to log to the base 2 of n so in this way the time complexity is calculated and we get that the complexity in this particular case is log of n similar to the concept in which we were dividing the friends into two different rooms like firstly 100 friends were divided into 50 friends in one room 50 in another we get to know if a person lies in this or in the rest then we further divide those 50 friends into 25 and 25 then we further divide into 12 and a half 12 and a half so in this way the thing goes on and we get this complexity as log of n i hope this video was really very insightful from the point of view of understanding time complexities for more such amazing videos and informative content don't forget to subscribe this channel and share it with your friends also do let me know what all topics you feel difficulty in and you are not able to understand so that i can bring you very informative content related to that as well Thank you so much. All the best. Good luck.